Hey guys, this is your trusted weather forecast, and today we're going to be talking about potential tropical storm Gamma and Delta. Gamma could potentially be the system highlighted in the National Hurricane Center right now that could affect Mexico. This system, Gamma, will pose little threat to the United States unless it can curve towards the United States. And a secondary system that will likely be acknowledged by the National Hurricane Center soon could potentially become Delta. There has been model consistency with it, and it is an increasing concern for any potential U.S. impacts. Before we get into this, I'd like to ask you to subscribe. About 75% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed, so please click the subscribe button if you like weather-related content and hit the notification bell if you do not want to miss a single upload. Also, share this with friends and family and like the video to get this out to as many people as possible. Let's get right into this. The National Hurricane Center gives this tropical wave located over the West Central Caribbean Sea a 60% chance of formation through 5 days and a 10 through 48 hours. A tropical depression could form over the weekend while the system moves slowly west-north-westward. This is the latest GFS model run, 12Z GFS. Previous runs have shown the same thing with potential gamma. And you can see that L1005 there is the potential gamma system that could become a tropical depression or tropical storm. It is not guaranteed to be named gamma, and if it doesn't get named gamma, then the secondary system that's coming along will probably be named it. But there is a decent amount of uncertainty that a tropical depression is likely to form before impacting Mexico. Exact intensity is unknown, but it will likely be an organized tropical depression or low-end tropical storm. You can see it moves north of Mexico, hangs out around there for a little while. That L1005 you see there in the Gulf now is that same system. And you can see it making another landfall in central Mexico on the Gulf side of it. That secondary system I was talking about is where that L1006 is next to Jamaica. While that is pretty weak, this is October 7th, by the way, this image you see here, October 7th. You can see once it moves into the Gulf, that L1003, this is October 9th. You can see it starts strengthening when it gets to the center of the Gulf. 989, the lower the number, the stronger the system. This is October 10th. And this is October 11th, and you can see this model run here has it approaching Florida and the Panhandle of Florida and makes a landfall right around Tallahassee with this model run. This is not guaranteed to happen and it's very far out still. Many possibilities exist. And then it curves back out to sea east of Georgia. This is the 06Z GFS run, the second latest model run of this, and you can see it's substantially different. It shows a much stronger system approaching Florida and making landfall in the same general area before weakening and moving inland and not curving back out to sea. This is the 00Z GFS run, the third latest, and you can see it still has that much stronger system, except it goes over Cuba this time, while very strong. Instead of strengthening in the Gulf, it strengthens in the Caribbean, and it makes a very strong landfall in southern Florida, a pressure of 945, and it's a pretty large system. But that gives you the general idea that another system will likely enter the Gulf, from the Caribbean sometime in early October. Exact intensity and landfall location are unknown at this time, though it appears likely Florida will be impacted in some way with how October hurricanes and tropical storms push east when they enter the Gulf. So this system, potential delta, will need to be watched. If the disturbance highlighted by the National Hurricane Center does not get named Gamma, this system will probably be named Gamma unless another system forms. These are current sea surface temperatures in degrees Celsius in the Caribbean and the Gulf. You can see the Caribbean is very warm to hot right now at 30 to 32 degrees Celsius waters. And if any organized system can get into those waters, it will likely strengthen substantially. 
in the Gulf is warm, but as you move more north in the Gulf, waters get cooler to around 27 degrees Celsius or below. Question of the day is, have you ever experienced a hurricane or a tropical storm? When and how was the experience? That's the trusted weather forecast for potential tropical storm gamma and delta. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want. Goodbye.